Hey guitar friends, thanks so much for joining me again today and learning another one. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing and coming back and learning a lot more of these songs with us. I got several requests to do another lesson on the song called In Color by Jamie Johnson. Really, really awesome song that's got some cool picking in it. So we're gonna learn how to play this one today. So stick with me. I'll show you how to strum it as well if you, you're not too good at the picking. But let's go ahead and zoom in, get started. We're gonna be playing this song with the capo on the third fret. So let's start out with the intro. Okay, we're gonna be playing this song with the capo on the third fret. And the chords we're gonna need here are G, F. We're also gonna play the F just down here on the fourth, third, second, and first strings. We're gonna play C, D, and E minor. Let's just start out real quick. I'm just gonna play through the intro for you. Okay, so we're starting out just on the G chord. You can do a hammer on here on the fifth string if you'd like, starting it out. Then I'm going the fourth string, then the second string. Then four, three, then, then back to six, four, two. we go to the F chord and we're going to do a hammer on here on the third string. And we're also going to be adding in our fourth finger down here on the first first string, third fret. So for the F we're hammering on and then going to the fourth string then the first string. And for the C chord, we're going to be hammering on here on the fourth string. So, hammer on fifth string, second string, four, three. Then we're also going to do a hammer on here on the third string. So we'll be hitting the second and third strings at the same time, hammering on, and then coming back off and doing the same thing on the fourth string, hitting the third and fourth strings together, hammering on, coming back off. And then ending on this G chord. So six, four, hammer on, third string open. So let's go through that one more time. I'm going to play straight through it a little bit slower and don't get too caught up on the exact strings here. You can play different strings and it can sound great as well, but here's what I'm doing. And that's our intro. So now let's go ahead and play through the first verse. I said, Grandpa, what's this picture here? It's all black and white, and it ain't real clear. Is that you there? He said, Yeah, I was 11. Times were tough back in 35. That's me. Trying to survive a cotton farm in the Great Depression. So you can just pick that inch or pick that verse, or you can do a little bit of strumming pattern, which you can just do bass note, fourth string, then down, down, up. So here's what that would sound like. You can strum it kind of like that, or you can just kind of pick 
pick the single strings in there. So that's our first verses. And then we're going to go through the chorus. If it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color Okay, and there for the strumming pattern we can do down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up After that, we go into a couple more verses and choruses, and then we go into the final verse, and that one does a little bit of a different thing towards the end, so let me play that one for you. This one is my favorite one, this is me and Grandma in the summer sun, all dressed up, the day we said our vows, can't tell it here. It was hot that June, and that rose was red, and her eyes were blue. Just look at that smile. I was so proud. That's the story of my life. Right there in black and white. final chorus there. All right, let's play through that full thing now. Let's start on the intro and pick this with me or strum it, whatever you can do. Just try to get through it with me and that will be good practice for you. So I'm going to start on the intro. Try 
trying to save each other You should have seen it in color Well, how was that one for you guys? I'd love to know in the comments below how you did with that song and if you've got it learned yet. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Check out some more of my videos and we'll do this again soon.